Well, the countdown is on for Thanksgiving Day, and if you're hosting a meal or bringing a dish to pass, you just have enough time to pick up a recipe that will impress your friends and your family's taste buds. <laughs> Here to help us make a Thanksgiving appetizer that's not only tasty, but also diet friendly is Chef Ellen Dort. Thanks so much for coming in today. Thanks for having me. So what would you say are some of the most popular options when it comes to bringing a Thanksgiving appetizer? Oh, something, dips are really popular because then the vegetable lovers can have their veggies, but then the people who just want their crackers and stuff can have <laughs> that as well. So that's always a good go-to. And we're making a dip today. Yes, we're making a spinach artichoke dip today. So this is like a gluten-free, it's even keto-friendly since that is so popular right now. Um, and it's a really, really easy dip to just get in the oven. You can even make it beforehand, um, and it's a great crowd pleaser. Is it? Okay, so you talked about it being in the oven too, and you've got to serve it hot. Can you microwave it later too and still not lose the. Oh, yeah. Okay, you can so microwave it still works. The leftovers. All right, all right. I just <laughs> want to make sure because, you know, when you're traveling and you're bringing stuff to and from someplace, I mean, if you're cooking it somewhere and it gets cold before you get there and. Yeah, da 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 da. You know how it works. So. Yep. But, do you think uh, that changes the flavor of it though when you do make it ahead of time and then put it in the fridge for a day? I don't think so. I think it's sometimes nice with some dishes to let the flavors meld a little bit. Um, but then it makes it really easy so that if you are driving somewhere, you can just pop it in their oven yeah. when you get there, and hey, and then it's ready yeah. and hot. So why did you pick this this dish today, or this dip to talk about? I picked this dip because it is one of the really popular ones that I've been making this year. Um, so I. Is something that a lot of people enjoy, and I do get a lot of those diet requests. And there are people that show up at Thanksgiving, and you didn't know that they were eating a certain way. So yeah. it's really nice to have things available that a wide range of people can sure. enjoy. So what do we need for this? What are the yeah. ingredients? All right. So we're starting off. We have about four ounces of cream cheese in here, so it's like half a package. Um, then we have our uh, spinach, which we sautéed with a little bit of garlic, um, and then we have it on paper towels just so we can drain it out a little bit. It's already chopped up, so we can just go ahead and add that right in. Sour cream. I would have sour not guessed cream. that. You can either use sour cream or mayonnaise when you make this dish, but mm -hmm. I always, yeah, I always prefer the sour cream. I don't know. Something about putting just a quarter cup of mayonnaise in just doesn't sound great to me. Okay, run through so. the rest of the <laughs> ingredients too right before we get started with this so we can just lay it out what we all need. Yep, so then we'll have Parmesan cheese, mozzarella cheese, and then we use canned quartered artichoke uh, hearts that I just chopped up a little bit more. Yeah. Okay, and we will have all this recipe online, so you'll have everything you need to know if you want to try yes. this. Um, so basically, once you have your spinach cooked, you can go ahead and just add your extra ingredients. So it's going to be about a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese. I love how you're just dumping it in. Yeah, you know, well, why she's not? A chef. She if you get a little extra in there, it's a yeah. little extra cheesy. Nobody's going to fault you. That's right. Um, and then you want to use about a third a cup of cheese or so of the mozzarella, and save a little mozzarella for going on top before we bake it. And you want your cream cheese to be room temperature so that you can stir it up. But if it's cold right out of the fridge, you can just pop it in the microwave, um, unwrapped for about 30 to 45 seconds, and that will get it to the right consistency to be able to mix it up. It smells good. Yeah, I love it. So what are the directions as far after you get this mixed up for cooking? So you'll have your oven preheated to about 350, um, and then you can either use small ramekins like we did for this. I have a glass Pyrex for this. You can use a souffle dish. Um, whatever you have that's an oven-friendly dish, this can go in. And you're just going to smooth it out in there. Doesn't have to be perfect. Seems like there's more artichoke in there than spinach. Yes. Is there a reason why? Um, you know, I don't have a good reason for you. If you want to add more spinach, yeah, you can I just feel was free. wondering if there's a there's a, a balance between the two. If one takes takes over the other one, no, and you can always adjust this. I'm a big fan of recipes as guidelines, so you can play with it. And if you want more of something or less of yeah, something, okay. go ahead and put it on. Yeah. And then you just top the rest with mozzarella cheese. This goes in the oven until it's bubbling and brown, which is about 30 minutes. Okay. And once that's done, you are ready to serve. So Ooh. you're actually, I mean, this is the cool part because you're just making a small. I mean, you're yes. not making a big vat of it, right? Right. right. You're just making enough that you want to take to the to the event, and right. and you're not probably going to have leftovers because you're. I mean, if you got a, you know, party of four, six, yeah. ten, whatever, they probably eat it up and right. away you go. And you can easily scale and double this recipe sure. if you do have a lot to feed. But with the dips, people are going to take about two tablespoons of it, so you yeah. don't need to make a lot for everybody. Yeah. What do you think are the best pairings with spinach dip? Crackers are always a favorite from the gluten-free to the pita chips to the, you know, regular just wheat crackers we have here. Vegetables are great, 
And if you have an assortment of raw vegetables, just refer to them as like crudités, which is like the fancy name. Crudités. And then, and then everybody like will think you planned it out really well. Crudités. <laughs> I'm going to use that. Crudités. So, uh, some other ideas, because this is so easy to make. Mm -hmm. I mean, we just saw you whip this up in a couple of minutes. So, what mm -hmm. other. What other ideas could you offer people that if they wanted to do a dip like this? Um, other super easy dips is hummus. Hummus is a mm. crowd pleaser. You can take canned chickpeas to use it. It's just a little bit of garlic, olive oil in there, lemon juice, and you put it in a blender and you're good to go. Wow. I, I've never thought of even making homemade hummus Well, that's before. why she's the chef. I know. Right? So where can we go for inspiration and different ideas? Where is some place we can get these resources? Um, I get a lot of recipes online. If you find favorite blogs or just search for certain terms and then look at what else they have to offer, my website, SiouxFallsChef.com, you can view my delivery menus. I have some holiday mains and sides that I'm providing. Um, so you can either look at the recipes for inspiration or if you don't even want to cook, I'll do it for you. Yeah, so <laughs> speaking of that ordering out, what, what does that look like? So I have a holiday meal delivery menu, and that includes main dishes from turkey to prime rib to beef brisket to lamb, and then side dishes that everybody loves, like your mashed potatoes, stuffing, green bean casserole, gravy, and those kind of goodies. And then there's pies and a yeah. pumpkin swirl cheesecake on there, too. What if you had to make a favorite dish, if I was going to invite you to our house for Thanksgiving, what would you bring? You know, uh, putting you easiness goal. aside and time yeah. aside. Putting easiness aside, last year I made for Christmas a beef wellington for my family. Wow. That is one of my favorite. Let me give you the dishes. address to our house. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go, send it over. So Ellen, is it, this is good stuff. Yeah. Thank you.